we have very serious homicides across the country and security breakdown because, first and foremost, the police service is demoralized. For the last 10 years, nobody has bothered about the police. The last time their allowances and their salaries were reviewed was the time of President Mwai Kibaki. Yet, the cost of living has really hit our police officers to an extent that in the police lines, every month, there are policemen shooting each other or killing themselves because of depression. The policemen, we must empathize with them because they feel very bad because they have been totally misused and nobody has bothered to think about them. Money is meant for criminal intelligence by the DCI has been held at the office of the president by the accounting officer. And this is money that now will be free once we get an accounting officer for the police service, for the national police service. They'll have money for criminal intelligence. There is a fund at the office of the president controlled by the accounting officer there. That fund for the last five years is what has been diverted to fund the BBI, to fund the Azimio campaign, and build hotels for that accounting officer across the country. And this is money now that will be available to the police, and that will create an enhanced efficiency. Because it is money that is confidential, it is not audited, it is not accounted, and the police can use it to buy information. So we want to assure the people of Kenya that the police themselves, by the way, let us understand them. In fact, they are willing to be good people. This money they collect on the road, they collect because sometimes they have no food. Sometimes they say they are told to escort money from a bank, 200 million, and themselves they don't have 10 shillings in the pocket. Sometimes being human beings can be very tempting. So we are saying that uh, within the first 100 days, we will review their terms of service, pay them well, and in return they have agreed. In return, they have agreed to reciprocate and be good people so that we can have a friendly police service like we have in the first world, where the police protect business, not harass business. We are giving an example that many people think is not doable, that in the fullness of time, after we review their terms and we agree with them that they need to change their attitude, that Kenyans are not their enemies, they need to protect them, their life and property. We will reach a situation in a year or so where when the police officers find you at night on your way home, probably you have taken one or two to try to get some sleep. If they put you in a land cruiser, they don't take you to the police station, they take you home to your wife. <laughs> that, is a, that is a station we are looking at. And, and, and we want to... We want to assure our police officers and the prison warders that their cry has been heard by the Kenya Kwanzaa police force. And even among the recommendations that shall be implemented is their request that all non-commissioned officers, that is senior sergeant downwards up to the constable, at the age of 50, if they want, they will be allowed to serve in their home counties so that they can prepare for retirement. We are at home. So we are, we, are, we, are looking, we are looking at a good situation progressively where we allow the police to do what they are paid to do. And we, they are saying, even the police themselves, they feel bad that they have been misused to arrest people who have committed no crime, to plant evidence on people who have done nothing, and they are saying once they get the financial independence, they will be able to operate freely and independently. And finally, on the public service, we want to assure our civil servants across the country, their cry has been heard about career progression, that officers would want career civil servants to rise from the point of entry to the highest level in the civil service, including being the head of the public service because they cry that they are demoralized, because they don't grow beyond a certain position, 
other people come from the private sector and then they stagnate at certain grades. So we want to assure the public service that your time is now, work hard, stay focused, and you can grow from an assistant secretary cadet all the way to a principal secretary. You can grow from an accountant too to the accountant general. You can grow from an assistant engineer to the chief engineer roads. So once, once that is settled, I think our public service will be well motivated and their morale will be boosted and will have productivity for the people of Kenya. And we have asking the public service that the people of Kenya want less and less government in people's lives and more services to the people of Kenya. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you very much.